State Cyclone Basketball is brought to you by Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. By Pioneer Hybrid International Incorporated. By Norwest Bank, Iowa, N.A. Where you can get a loan and fly free to one of nine exciting destinations. Visit Norwest for more details. And by DuPont Concert. Part of your recipe for success. Welcome to Hilton Coliseum and Ames. This place filling up for the last time this year. This is the last regular season Big 8 contest and it features the Cyclones of Iowa State and the Wildcats of Kansas State. Uh, here's Johnny theme that we're so familiar with being played in the background now here at Hilton is Johnny Orr being introduced to this home crowd here. Is it his last time? Well, who knows, but Johnny Orr is really having a, a fine season as coaching because he's really had to do a great job. The Hilton Magic may be gone, but Johnny Orr has done a good job, Gary Thompson, in keeping his club together after the loss of Lauren Meyer. Dave, it's unusual for the Cyclones to come to their last game hoping to have as good a record at home as they have on the road, and they need a win to do that. But it's a team that struggled. They, they played really well, just have come up short, but it's been a lot of interesting games here for Cyclone fans at Hilton. Well, speaking of teams that have struggled, Gary, Kansas State last year, an NCAA tournament bid. This year, they're really going to have to play their way into the tournament. And Ski Jones, though, has not been a disappointment. He's playing his best basketball. Well, one of the top scorers in the Big 8 Conference, number three, in fact. He's four all-time at Kansas State and a chance to move up. A terrific outside shooter, 190 trays on his career. Hit a big three-pointer against Iowa State to win in Manhattan. Well, Fred Hoiberg has hit some big threes. He's hit some big shots for Iowa State this year. And what do you think? Where would Iowa State be without this guy? Well, he's hit 58 trays. That's a season career record for Iowa State. But it's his all-around game that sparks the Cyclones. He's the leading scorer in five of the last six ball games, and he does it all every game. He's a choice of mine for all Big 8 honors. Yeah, me too. I think so. Well, Fred's been great, but uh, right now Gary Thompson's great because he's going to tell us his keys to victory. Brought to you by DuPont Concert. Well, for Kansas State, it shoots well because they only shoot 40% as a team. 45 or 6% is shooting well for them. Wildcat Temple, they've got to keep it down in number of possessions. They want a low-scoring game. For Iowa State, keep being from driving, get into the lane. The other thing, keep the Wildcats off the glass. They beat them bad on the boards at Manhattan. And that's McKee's to Victory, brought to you by DuPont Concert, part of your recipe for success. Certainly is. Well, we'll see who is successful here today. Will it be Kansas State, who won earlier this year in Manhattan, or Iowa State, who has won three straight here at Hilton? Let's check the starting lineup, brought to you by Norwest Bank, Iowa, the home of free checking. Norwest proud to be here, pleased to serve for Kansas State. Davison Nolan of the forwards, Cunningham in the middle. Boy, he is a real overachiever. And Bean and Jones may be one of the best guard tandems in the country. For Iowa State, it's Bivens and Mikulik. Bivens, the senior, getting the start, along with another senior, Mark Carlson. Hoiberg and Holloway are the guards. The officials for today's game, Ed Hightower, Jerry Petro, and J.C. Leinbach. Well, the rumors going around uh, about the caring program for children. First of all, we'll talk about that. Iowa's children profit from three-point goals scored by the Cyclones this year. $75 for every three-point basket made to the caring program for children. A statewide program helps children get a healthy start in life. And Johnny Orr emotional as he came out for the Here's Johnny welcome. Emotional because he's thinking maybe this is his last time being introduced to this group as the head coach of the Cyclones. Well, that's a story that still needs to be written. An overwhelming margin, and Kansas State won 10 of the last 15. Dean Altman is the head coach of the Wildcats in his fourth year. He did a great coaching job. 17 wins out of a team that shoots 40%. And Johnny Orr, you see his uh, record overall, 14th year here at Iowa State after spending all that time at Michigan. Well, it's Kansas State dressed in the road purple with the ball. Iowa State in their home white. Iowa State opens up. Let's see, man for man. They played some triangle and two down in Manhattan. There's Anthony Bean with the first one. He has struggled all year long, but in the last five ball games, he shot around 44%. Now it's Iowa State with J.C. Holloway getting the start against a, a team that a lot of folks thought that Holloway would end up with. Hoiberg, well short, thought he was fouled. There's Bivens, the senior with the putback. Well, Bivens is shown a lot of flash throughout his career at Iowa State. He's had some tremendous ball games. And then uh, 
has not been able to hold that consistency. Had played well in his opening game as a freshman against Kansas State. He, in fact, established his all-time highs at 18 points and eight rebounds. Bean did a pretty good job of ball control there going down. Still hanging on to the ball. Davis, did he walk? Yep. First turnover for the Wildcats. Don't forget, later in the game, Gary and I are going to be choosing the Pioneer Seed Corn player of the game. Look at Holloway. Well, there's Dane Altman, the coach right there. As we say, Holloway, his dad, I met him, Dean, for the yeah. first time, and he said his daughter's team went to the state tournament for Mount Ridge, Kansas. So one by one last night. Is that right? Yeah. Won the first game. The boys' team lost after uh, Holloway led them to all those state championships. They lost in the first round on Friday night. Nolan whistled for his first foul, first team foul on the Wildcats. Boy, they're really banging inside. They're an aggressive team. They have a lot of quickness, not much size. Man, you see the shoving and the pushing there, and Nolan says, who, me? <laughs> what I love to see is all that shoving and pushing, and once they hear a whistle, the hands go up like, who, me? <laughs> Nothing changes in this game. <laughs> no, that's right. Make a leak. Score down a three. Uh, or would like to see Mikalik take more three-point shots. So Mikalik has only attempted 50 this year. Well, we want to take a moment to recognize the Phillips 66 Big A Conference Player of the Week, Eric Piatkowski from Nebraska. He's earned the special recognition, his outstanding play over the past week, and Piatkowski had a good game yesterday against Missouri, too. Terrific game, and almost got down a 30-footer to win the ball game at the end on the last shot. Well, that was halfway down and then all the way out again. Holloway, he went to a lot of Kansas State camps, gives it off to Hoiberg, that's a two. Boy, I love the way he's shooting the basketball this year from the three point. No hesitation. No. Susie gets it right up. We talked about him a season high career record for Iowa State, 58 three pointers. Has shot twice as many this year, or a little bit more than last year. He's making a lot of them, too. Hoiberg with 58 threes. That's a new record. Ron Bayless had the old record of 50. Iowa State trying to run their cutting offense, their high post offense. Carlson steps out for release pass. Oh, it's wide open. Hoiberg got the pick inside and wide open for the layup and a four-point cyclone lead. That center for Kansas State has to protect that. If he makes a back cut on the backside, he's got to step over there and block him out with his body. Cunningham calling for the ball inside. He gets it. Blocked by Bivens, but a foul. Donnell being whistled for his first. How did Hoiberg get so open? Well, we'll show you. Well, you'll see him rub right now, and he'll start, the defense will start to cheat over because he knows he's going to cut, and then let him go. And the center right there does not come back and protect that. He's overplaying so much to deny there that he doesn't protect the backside. Well, Cunningham at the line, this has been an adventure for him. You see 54% from the line this year. You know, there's hesitation in that shot, too. There's something about Cunningham, though, in the games at Manhattan. You think Iowa State, well, they got the guy they want on the line, and he hits those free throws mm -hmm. at, at Manhattan when the Cats have won. Just them both there. Minkley has it. Still 6-2 Iowa State. Can you think of anything more frustrating than to be a coach for Kansas State and look at 40% shooting from the field and 65% from the line? I mean, you got to be nervous every time it goes up. Altman, the youngest coach in the big game, he's got to feel old with those kind of numbers. <laughs> Well, later in the game, we're going to be choosing the DuPont Concert Off the Bench Award winner. It's the player that comes off the bench and makes the biggest contribution to his team. And coming off the bench for Kansas State, Ron Lucas. Hasn't had quite the year they were expecting out of Ron Lucas, but he has been playing well the last few ball games. In fact, he's hit 19 out of his last 34. Hoiberg again. Man, he is something. Biggest lead now for Iowa State. A2, and Fred has six of those points. Mikali kicks it off. Mikali! Oh, wow! With one of his patented running one-handers. And the Cyclones are roaring right now. Hilton Magic might be back. Cyclones this year have won just one big eight game at Hilton after going unbeaten last year. 
Lucas, strong move, but no. There's Davis, no. Davis again, and that's why their shooting percentage is 40 percent. And that's how they stay in ball games to win as many games as they have, 17 on the season, as they go after it on the boards. And we said they out-rebounded Iowa State bad at Manhattan. Iowa State has got to keep them from those second and third shots. That basket by Davis, the first for the Wildcats in three and a half minutes. Too strong for Carlson, look out, oh, out. Boy. Well, it was not our TV crew. <laughs> uh, the selective uh, jumping, I guess. Uh, that's our welcome to the Kansas State television crew. <laughs> Well, welcome aboard. Well, Altman has an unkind word for his team as they come off because it's Iowa State with the six-point lead. Shows you how you get a six-point lead. <laughs> Shoot 71 percent. Uh, that's a good start. And hold the other team to 33 percent. Iowa State, uh, leading field goal shooting team in the Big Eight at 49 percent plus on the year. Double pick there for Steve Jones. The He's ball is it. Yeah. Holloway. Holloway, again, he uh, went to a lot of the Dana Altman's camps. Uh, Kansas State invited him to walk on, but he got a scholarship offer from the Cyclones and took it. Fred Hoiberg is covering up on Ski Jones and has really been shattering him. Had a switch that time, and now they have Bivens covering on Jones. Lucas trying to go over Mikulik. No, and there's Hoiberg. Hoiberg, who averages almost seven rebounds a game. I think the Wildcats have the right idea. I think they need to push it inside. Their problem is <laughs> they just have trouble shooting the ball. The Wildcats really are more aggressive after that last time out. Good matchup with Davis on Hoiberg, too. Davis, a very aggressive defender. There's Hoiberg. And a foul. Pushing off inside, trying to get a rebound, Kansas State. Hoiberg may be going to the line. Demond Davis whistled for the foul. Hoiberg coming to the baseline. You'll see Carlson with the ball, and they'll kept out and give him half a pick, which just frees him up enough. And then you see Hoiberg knocked down. He's after the shot, so Hoiberg will be going to the line, an 88% free throw shooter. He does everything well. Number one in the conference. The only thing he doesn't do well is swim. <laughs> if you get a shot of Fred Hoiberg closely, you look at that scar over there on the right cheek. That's from a swimming accident, folks. How do you cut yourself swimming? <laughs> Stays out here, escapes all the elbows and everything right. else. And then he gets, yeah, what happened was he had a kickboard come up from somebody else. I guess you know how they'll go down and boom and fly out, hit him in the cheek. He said, that's embarrassing. Oh, man. <laughs> well, Mark Spitz, he's not. <laughs> and a walk by Davis. Now, coming up at halftime, we're going to be naming the Northwest Bank Iowa Academic All-Star. Another turnover for the Wildcats. Gives the ball to the Cyclones with a 12-4 lead. And Dave, what caused that turnover is you've got Davis in there. He's only a 35% shooter. He's wide open. Normally, a decent shooter would have taken that shot, but he's trying to push it in closer into more of his range. Anthony Bean whistled for the foul. His first. So four team fouls already on Altman's Wildcats. The Cats are aggressive. They come out and, and guard you. There's no doubt about that. That's how they've been able to win 17 with their defense. Carlson trying to take it strong and Lucas, a nice block. Lucas is a good jumper. This is a club that doesn't block very many shots. In fact, 35 on the air. I don't think anybody's got less than, say, 80 blocks as a team. Again, you see those shots that are available to Kansas State that they don't take. Lucas had one from about 14, 15, and he passed it up. Bean trying to weave in that penetration. Davis, nice shot there. That's one of those deals I always talk about. You got a guy free on the outside, don't rush out and overcommit. Stay down, stay under control. Iowa State 
Bryant's going to have to have good ball movement against this pressure. Now they get a little two-on-two -two game. Well, shot clock is at seven, and Mikulik will take it right up over Cunningham. That's the size advantage there and good shooting ability. And now you've got him set. Cunningham will respect that. Now he goes up maybe the next time and shows him. Cunningham goes up. He's able to take him on the drive. Oh, he misses Davis underneath. He's wide open. Iowa State got caught on a pick. Almost a turnover. Good hands by Dean. Mikulik, another rebound. You know, Dave, they're shooting 40%. But they really don't even look good shooting the ball, you know? No, they don't. Now here comes Bean. Bivens, nice play! <laughs> Things a little ratty right now by both sides. Mikulik saves it. You know, Mikulik thought he had two points right then, an easy two. Well, 24 to go here, first half. Hoiberg and the Cyclones leading Kansas State 14 to 6. We've got a lot of action here and much scoring in the last couple of days. There's turnovers on the Budweiser quick stat, about even, and here comes Jason Kimbrough. Kimbrough sporting that new tattoo on the right shoulder. I think it's a Panther. Yeah, Kimbrough motioning him up. They're trying to set in a 2 2 1 press. Cunningham is fouled by the Panther. Kimbrough with his first. He didn't have a tattoo in no college. No way. Huh? <laughs> I, had, I think maybe as a kid, some of those bubblegum water deals, you know, you put on it and rub off right away. All right. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going. I don't have guts to have that needle in me. Yeah, there it is. There's the Panther on there. He said it hurt. He said, man, that hurt. <laughs> oh boy, they put that needle in you. <laughs> Not me. What happens if you want to change from a pants or you want to be a bear instead, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess put it on the other arm. Maybe. Cunningham hits a free throw after missing his first two. So Hamilton checks in. Stanley Hamilton uh, in pregame warm-ups who were doubtful whether he would he would play or not. Ski Jones just going out. I don't remember Ski Jones getting a shot yet, do you? I don't think he has. And the turnover for the Cyclones. It's one thing, Kimbrough, he's probably the more athletic of the two freshman guards, but he is more prone to turnovers than Holloway is. It's a good matchup there, two little guys, Boy. both quick. Always been impressed the way Dean handles that ball and just kind of crouches over, almost makes it impossible to steal the way. Kind of like he's sneaking up on you anyway that dribble. <laughs> this is what they want in their game, though. They want to make you play defense for 25 seconds, then they'll go after it. They don't want to trade a lot of possessions with teams that can shoot the ball. Good play by Kimbrough there defensively. Hoiberg pulls up. A little short on the three. Six points, Cyclone lead under 12 to go first half. Bean, you notice him holding him up his hand there and circling his finger. Let's get some motion and movement. See the picture on the baseline. Who's the go-to guy for Kansas State with Ski Jones on the bench? I guess it's Cunningham. No, a push before the shot. You know, without Bean, I don't know that you've got a go-to guy this year. We'll see right here. Here comes Carlson out. Comes out a little bit not under control, or not under control, and allows him to get the baseline and up and in. That was before the shot, though. Wave off the shot. The first foul on Carlson. And it'll be Wildcat ball when we come back to Hilton with the Cyclones leading by six. Iowa State's converted for the only points off those turnovers. With Gary Thompson, I'm Dave Armstrong. We're at Hilton Coliseum in Ames, the last home game. Last game of the regular season for these two clubs. They'll head to Kansas City. After this week, Iowa State will be taking on Oklahoma State. Kansas State will meet, the, meet their cross-state rival, Kansas. Well, Iowa State switch, excuse me, they switch right now. They've got Hoiberg getting a little rest off Ski Jones and Derrick Hayes, the freshman, has him. Jones has not taken a shot for nine minutes into the game. Yeah. 
wants the ball now. Good defense by Hayes. Cunningham way off balance. Awkward looking shot, but I think that's where Kansas State needs to get it. They have to get it down close in the block. In and out, no good for Kimbrough. Here comes Gavin. They're expecting a lot of things out of Brian Gavin, a sophomore. He's picked it up at the tail end of the year, too. He's been shooting the ball and has averaged almost nine points in the last three road games. First shot attempt, first mate for Ski Jones. Averaging almost 22 a game. And a foul on Lucas trying to get in front of Hamilton. First one on Lucas. And already the fifth team foul in Kansas State. This telecast a copyrighted presentation of Iowa State University and the Cyclone Television Network. Any use of the pictures or accounts of this telecast without the express prior written permission of Iowa State and Capital Communications is expressly forbidden. Bucket by Hoiberg there on the inbounds class. Boy, they are successful on those inbounds plays. They are tough. Hoiberg already in double figures with 10. Out of bounds off Hayes. Good defense again by this freshman, Derek Hayes. And he's come on late as well for John Moore's Cyclones. You think, too, with the injury to Lauren Meyer, certainly devastating for Iowa State, but you think of the guys that have been able to respond as a result of that. Guys like Mark Carlson and Derek Hayes. And Herb Beecham has got more playing time, and that's going to pay dividends. You know, early guys were coming in that played like uh, Bivens. They had not had much playing time up to this year as far as meaningful playing time. So there's some guys that are going to be more ready to play next year on this team. Although we got to remember this season is not over yet. Okay, kind of ground to a halt. Yes. 16-10, a late over half of this first half. That one hit the bottom of the backboard, and it will go to Iowa State. Well, the Wildcats kind of grind you to a halt, you know, with yeah, their style of play. And that's what they intend to do. They want to frustrate you and make you come down and put up quick shots on the offense. You get impatient. Well, you look at their numbers and you think, man, how does Altman coach these guys into 17 wins? Incredible. <laughs> Mikali, there's a running shot. How does he adjust that, Gary? I don't know. To me, that is tough. But you know, that's a foreign type of shot. Mm -hmm. The foreign players are great at that, shooting it on the move. You never teach. You would never teach someone to shoot like that, would you? Oh, boy, he's successful at it. Foul. And Ski Jones will go to the line. You know, Ski Jones is frustrated right now because he hasn't been able to get the ball or shots. Let's watch him here. Now he gets anxious, goes up, fakes, bumps him off right there. That's a push off and then comes up with the shot. Could have gone the other way. Well, the first on Hayes, Jones, 82% free throw shooter. He really is the offense for Kansas State. And the thing that he has added to his game this year, before he was a standstill shooter. He's Practiced this summer, he's putting it on the floor some, and he's gone to the line 180 uh, some times this year. Kevin Lewis checking in, a freshman out of Midwest City. I like the looks of Kevin Lewis. He needs to gain some weight, but I think he's going to be a good one for them at center. Here's an interesting stat. Ski Jones showing how important he is for them to score. When he scores 20 points or more, the Cats are 26 and 4. 26 wins and only four losses when he has the big game. Nice pass. The only thing Kansas State could do would be to foul Hoiberg. And well, that's a mistake. You put a leading free throw shooter on the line. Let's watch what happens when you get a good entry pass. Here's a little hook pass in, and Hoiberg does a good job of shielding the defensive man off with his body, then takes it into traffic, then draws the foul. They rule it before he gets into the act of shooting. Okay. Well, that's the inbounds play, and a little fortunate bounce, but Hamilton still can't convert. That happens. Did that? That had to hit underneath. It did. Yeah. yeah. Which, if people are wondering, I thought it hit the backside. It hit underneath. That's in play. Cats have pulled it within four. Hoiberg fouled by Gavin before the shot again. But now Kansas State over the limit. That's their seventh team foul. So Hoiberg will shoot the one and one. Well, Cyclones have tried to post up Hoiberg in the last few ball games without a whole lot of success. But let's watch now. This is the second time down. There's Hayes in there. Again, the pass away from the defender. He has him shield off. And they go right to Fred Hoiberg. Good job. 
Hoiberg is really a tough matchup for other teams, isn't he? Because he plays the guard and he's such a big guy. Well, he's got strength and he's smart. And you see it in his play, the way he can position up and the post up and, and he always shields a good defender with his body and then puts a hand out there for your target to lay it out to that open side. I would think if you're gonna copy somebody's style, Hoiberg would be a good one to follow. A lot of the things he does are things that you can't teach. I mean, just his instinctiveness for the game, his reactions, his anticipation. The whistle. Man, looks like we're gonna have a foul on J.C. Holloway. Hanging on, trying to put some extra pressure on. That's the 16th foul on Iowa State. Johnny Orr wearing a microphone today. It's uh, not with uh, us. We're going to have to check on them. It might be for a coaching show. I can tell you what it is, Dave. I think it's going to be for a special with Raycock is going to do when they get into the NCAA play. They go. Oh, run a couple hour special, and so they're taping a lot of different coaches. Of it. Well, I work for Acom, but they certainly don't tell me everything they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in on that meeting. I missed that one, Gary. There's Bean again sneaking inside. Well, I didn't want to let a I didn't viewer the memo. leave him hanging there. <laughs> Man, well, I guess you've been with them for 20 some years of seniority rules, huh? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, we talked about being driving and penetrating. Uh, he's done it a couple times. Kansas State, a good job there of shutting off Hoiberg on the back top. Good defensive help. 2016, Iowa State. The 7-14 to go, first half. You know, don't you have the kind of the feeling that Iowa State is dominating this game? You look up the yep. scoreboard, and they only lead by, lead by four. Jones to pull him to within one. Well off, almost an air ball. Quickly up ahead to Hayes. Nice move, Derek Hayes. That's what he excels at, getting out on the break. That was good concentration because Bean come flying by him defensively. And that has a tendency to take your eye off the basket. Ski Jones has got to stay within his game. He started to force the last couple shots. He's got to wait and have patience. Nikoli gotten away on that one. Good help from Ulo. Hoiberg for three. This is what Holloway does so well when he's on the court. He sees through traffic and gets the ball to people like that who can come up with the shot, where if you wait another couple counts or couple dribbles, that play is taken away from you. 25-16, Iowa State. Bean, oh, nice move. This is where he will hurt you the most, is when he drives. You've got to keep him in front, force him to shoot the outside shot. He's only having a bad year. He's only shooting 32%. And a push on Lewis again. Lewis with his second personal. He'll be going to the line now, because Kansas State is over the limit. Altman saying, come on, hang in there now. Lewis, he's going to bring him out of the game with two fouls. Hoiberg will get a well-deserved rest. Hoiberg already with 15 first half points after scoring 26 against Kansas the other night. And so it'll be Hamilton at the line, just a 58% free throw shooter. Kind of like he was squirting a grape out of there, wasn't he? <laughs> Pinching it out of that this free throw. <laughs> That'd be a unique style too. He just squeeze the ball. In the hoop. Works. So with 5.48 to go till the break, right now it's Iowa State with the biggest lead, nine. It appeared in the NCAA tournament, we'll tell you in the second half. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That sounds like a Cyclone fan. Not enough. Well, for the Cyclones to make it this year, certainly they'd have to win the Big A tournament. And that would be the automatic bid to the NCAA from the Big Eight. 
Kansas State still feels like if they can win three, they're in. Today, the first and second rounds of that Big A tournament. A lot of people think, though, the Wildcats would need to win that tournament as well. I think this is an important part of the game right now. Iowa State's pushed it out to a, a nine-point lead. They've got to stay with it here in the last five minutes and keep this lead or build on it and not let Kansas State fight back in and go in at halftime thinking they have a chance to win the ball game. Iowa State trying to win just the second home game in the Big Eight this year. That's amazing after going unbeaten last year. Three-pointer from Hay. And again, you credit Holloway. Penny he finds the guy across court. And now a 12-point lead for the Cyclones. They have pulled ahead. <laughs> Foul inside. That's going to be on Holloway, his second. We know when you play this game of basketball, one of the things you want to do, you want to look for people. The other thing, if you're open, you want to call for the ball. Get your hand up and show somebody that you're open. Hayes does it, and he delivers. I never really got open. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you're a little slow afoot. You know? It's tough to get open. <laughs> I never got to raise my hand. I never got open. Davis. Heck, you're big enough if you see over the top. See you. You have to raise a hand. <laughs> I just see my nose. <laughs> Here comes Kimbrough back in. Under five to go, first half. And we've got a 10-point game. And another home game in the Big Eight. The Cyclones won was a walk away from Colorado. That was the time that the bus played without Donnie Boyce. Who had 46, wasn't it? Yeah, 46 <laughs> yesterday. yesterday. And it wasn't enough against the Cowboys. Mikaly. get inside nobody big enough to defend him in there and I think Kansas State with quicker guys in the inside they really need to try to get it inside to Cunningham he's had 14 and 15 points the last two times these teams have played Jones can't find the range from three point again Jones with just four first half points Hayes trying to get it into Mikuli and so to Kimbrough that went off of somebody's head I think here comes Bean. Now Lucas loping uh, in. Lucas. Lucas. Or this is what Bean could do well. He can feel players coming. He knew there was a guy coming in the lane. Little motion one way and then dish off. Good penetration. Slapped away by Lucas. Two twenty-two, Iowa State. A walk in by Cunningham. Cunningham has been limited to just four first half points. So with 336 to go, I'll show you how Cunningham just took one too many steps. The fake. The fake again and then the walk. And right now the Cyclones have the 10-point advantage. Mr. Pond concert keys to victory. Well, the Kansas State Wildcats are not shooting well, only 35%. This is a little faster paced game than the right right now. Iowa State with 32 points, headed for a 40 point half. Iowa State has not kept Bean from driving as much as they'd like. He has six points and a couple feeds. But Iowa State does control the glass 13 to 10, and that's a big point when you play Kansas State. Also controlling Ski Jones. Yes. Knocked out of his hand, so he was able to dribble it again, Hayes, but then lost the handle. Quick hands twice that time by the Cats. Cat quick, you might say. <laughs> and slapped out of Ski Jones' hand. I always watch Kansas with Larry Brown, and I think even under Roy Williams a lot, when they handle the ball, instead of handling it right in the middle, if they're going to swing on you, they swing and pick that ball right down to the floor. So it, it goes back to that, like on the bounce pass, your hands never go mm. down, right. and they never go down when you're taking the ball in front of somebody. You're always trying to pick it up here at waist high, but they'll swing the ball way low, and that was a drill that I watched Larry Brown use at Kansas a lot. I wonder if he picked that up from the uh, uh, Yeah, uh, probably. Dean uh, Smith at North Carolina Cunningham. I had never played that way or thought about that, you know, until I've seen that. And that's great because you go down, take that pressure, and the guy's riding on you, and uh, usually the hands aren't there. Hoiberg with 15. 
And Demond Davis, who has stopped a lot of scores around the league, not able to get the handle on Hoiberg today. Oh, beautiful. Hand. 17 first half points. Maybe he ought to get hit with a kickboard more often. <laughs> you know, he's had that kind of year all year, though. This is not a surprise for Hoiberg to do this. It's career high 29, so yeah. he's coming in range of, of that mark. During the two-minute mark, 10-point lead. And a walk again. Cunningham, that's the third time today he's walked like that. But this is where Kansas State should have some set success or where their shooters they should go. Watch Hoiberg come through. Gets a pick. Now you see both guys overcommit and leave him alone and then a good look in there by Hamilton and the easy two. That's bad communication on the part of the Wildcats. Yeah, not talking and right. communicating. That's the biggest thing, playing the game. Communicate. Don't be afraid to talk to your teammates. Say, I got him, or check my man, switch. Picks up his second. And Kimbrough will go to the line. Kimbrough hasn't been to the line much this year, but he's taken advantage of his trips, shooting 86%. There's the terrific tandem of Kansas State. Bean and Jones. Averaging about 32 plus points a ball game. Between them. Between them, right? That's the tandem. Now smiles now for Johnny Orr as his club is in front by 11. We talked earlier about Orr. Is this his last game? Strolling the sidelines here at Hilton. What do you think? What are your thoughts on that? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Really. One thing That's about the it, rumor, though. Yeah. One thing about it, if he does leave, he'd leave the program uh, with an excellent, excellent team for next year. Yeah, I should say, in a lot better shape than when he found it. He's revitalized the Cyclone program. The following year, depending on what happens then, it could become a little slim. Walk again, Cunningham. The turnover is killing the Wildcats. Just over a minute to go. And a 12-point lead for Iowa State. This is where you have to have that killer instinct as a club. You got the lead, add to it. again. He's just too tough for Davis today. He's taking him to school. You know, and he just there. He normally doesn't use the board. There he gets it on drive up high where he's got to arch it. The defense is on it pretty good. He puts it off the bank. That's that instinct you were talking about. You can't teach. Right. He gets lead for Iowa State right now. 14. Carlson and a chance to really go for the last shot. Shot clock and game clock. Well, it was about a half second differential, so they shut the shot clock off. That's the time remaining in the first half, and there is no shot clock. So Iowa State with a chance to take a 16 or 17 point lead to the locker room. In last game shot situations, they've gone to a 1 4. Here they go to another play. Ooh, there, that looks like an offensive foul. It is. Hayes, his second. Let's watch it right here. He'll spin. Bean comes in there and he just runs him over. And you can have that position. You can be backtracking like that as long as you're shaped up. Can't move on that. That wasn't after a made basket. And Ron Lucas didn't know it. He went off the spot. Altman just said, those are the things that will drive you oh, crazy. Yeah. Got to know the rules. After a made basket, you can roam up and down that baseline, but not after a turnover. Got to stay on that spot. Hayes. And that'll do it for the first half. Cunningham has it, puts it up. It'll count if it goes. Oh, boy. Close. Johnny Orr. Right now he's saying, come here to Derek Hayes. A little counsel for him and a little conversation, too, with Ed Hightower and Dana Altman. Johnny can smile because his club's got the lead. 38-24 Iowa State. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bud Light.
If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. By Pioneer Hybrid International Incorporated. By Norwest Bank, Iowa, N.A. Where you can get a loan and fly free to one of nine exciting destinations. Visit Norwest for more details. And by DuPont Concert. Part of your recipe for success. Towards the end of the, the half, they turned it over about five times in uh, five minutes. Well, it's Fred Hoiberg who's leading the way for Iowa State. Looks like Fred's hitting almost everything he's throwing up there with 19 first half points. And Iowa State has the advantage at the half, holding Ski Jones to just four first half points. And it's a 14-point Cyclone lead. Sure, there's a lot of competition. In the King of Beards, who reminds you, friends know when to say when. By Pioneer Hybrid International Incorporated. By Norwest Bank, Iowa, N.A. Where you can get a loan and fly free to one of nine exciting destinations. Visit Norwest for more details. And by DuPont Concert. Part of your recipe for success. Well, let's take a look at who's starting for each team in the second half. Brought to you by Norwest Bank, Iowa, N.A. The home of free checking. Norwest proud to be here and pleased to serve. Same starting five for the Wildcats. Well, Bean held to six points. Ski Jones just four in that first half. Iowa State will trot out. These guys, Bivens, Mikalik, Carlson, Hoiberg, and Holloway. Mikalik, he had eight first half points. Pretty good first half for Mikalik and Hoiberg. They were 11 for 16 from the field, Dave, between those two guys. Oh, so they boy. carried the load. I should say. And uh, check on our caring program for children shows that Iowa State shooting two for three from three-point range. It's another $150 for the caring program for children. Former Governor Ray was keeping track of that. He yeah, knew there was two today. Was wasn't there? Another and here he is, bucks. Ted Tedesco, <laughs> our good buddy, the governor. Oh, no, what are you? City councilman. And he's heading to Washington. This is his last game for the Cyclone Television Network. Ted, thanks for all the help. I mean that. Ted, thank you. I've worked with you a lot longer. We start, You started me originally. I got you started in your now job. Now you've been here until war I'm going to have to leave pretty soon. <laughs> oh, man. I know. I don't want any of you guys to leave. You've been a lot of fun to work with. Thanks, Ted. And uh, any any more offices you're running for, you let me know, and we'll make sure you get elected. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. You know the type of guy, he, you know a politician, he not only gives you five, he gives you ten. He's shaking with both hands. Oh, yeah. He's got them coming and going. Well, he's shaking with one and looking for money with the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, Gary asked me, Ted, to pass on a note. He's got some sewer problems in his neighborhood. He wants you to take care of it personally. <laughs> Second half, here we go. Iowa State with the ball and a 14-point lead. Here's Gary Thompson. I'm Dave Armstrong. Here's Mikalik. Blocked from behind but a foul. Cunningham whistled for just his first. He took a walk, too. <laughs> well, he walked a lot in the first half, so I guess he's walking again. Don't forget, we're going to be choosing that Pioneer Seed Corn player of the game. Right now, the name Fred Hoiberg comes to mind. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, Mikuli could have a strong second half and get in there. One away from double figures. You know what we talked about in that first half, though? He hit the outside shot. He showed the ball this time to Cunningham. He comes up on him. Boom. He takes him right away on the drive. Smart play. A smart player. Mikuli, Hoiberg, and Carlson, all members of the Phillips 66 Academic All Big 8 team. Three from one team. Iowa State, a 2 2 1 trap here now. Let's see if they can come up with anything going for the knockout punch early leading by 16 it's the biggest lead Iowa State has had out to Davis wide open for three gave it up now Jones oh, the defense by a by Bivens excuse me Cunningham got loose nice pass have to get it in close. They're not a good shooting club if it isn't Ski Jones on the outside or Bean on the drive. Those other guys got to get a, get the ball around the block. What was that old commercial about earning it the old-fashioned way? That's yeah. the way these guys work. <laughs> nice tip away by Cunningham. 
trying to get it to Bean. Jones was right there. The alley oop. Nice pass. Nice play. Good lob by Jones. Good adjustment there by him. Four straight for the Wildcats. Cats with good pressure. Trying to deny the ball. And a foul. Cyclones come in here as Meek Link in a penetration. Holloway, a nice cut there from behind, takes it up. His first shot of the game, he had four assists in the first half. Another guy doesn't go to the line much. Holloway. And that's because you're not penetrating or not shooting. He doesn't shoot the ball very much. Averaging two a game. In a lane violation. That was against Iowa State. That was against Bivens. So it wouldn't have counted even if it had gone. So right now it's a 41 28 lead, Iowa State. 18 and a half to go in this one. That's where you beat that pressure if you're Kansas State there. You've got to find an open man because you've got numbers in your favor on the back side of it. Cunningham offensive. Lowered that shoulder in on Carlson. Second foul on Cunningham. And I looked across at Dana Altman. He didn't complain at all, and he had a straight shot at this play. Watch Carlson right now. Comes there, moves and positions himself, and then actually that looked worse than we saw it live than it did from that angle where he bumped him. Good defensive position by Mark Carlson playing his last home game. Being his third. Being trying to put all kinds of pressure on Holloway. I shouldn't say the last home game for Iowa State because they're well, sitting with a chance for an NIT if they wouldn't win the tournament go to the NCAA tournament. That's so a good point. Still got a chance to play another game at home. One of the advantages, Iowa State, you say their record 13 and 12, well, how are they going to get in? But one of the advantages and one of the things the NIT really looks at is attendance. No, money. <laughs> oh, well, that's associated <laughs> that's with it. <laughs> And Iowa State always draws well. I mean, this crowd today would, I guess, sort of notice to that. Another sellout here at Iowa State. And a game that basically is coming down to meaningless as far as the Big 8 standings are concerned. These teams will finish 6-7. You know, I liked what I saw today. Mark Carlson, you look at him covering right there, a senior, fifth-year senior, transferred in here. A lot of emotion. A few tears in the eyes when he came out and was introduced special. And I like to see that. It meant something for him to play here at Iowa State. Cunningham has been the story here in the second half. He has a half dozen this half. And a foul on Elvis Nolan. Nolan will get some attention as one of the newcomers in the conference. Junior college transfer. Little thing, he's been a little inconsistent. He had four ball games here where he's in double figures and then blanks in two of them. Didn't score at all. After taking a 16-point lead, Kansas State now is making a run at the Cyclones. It's down to 11. Watch love, watch love. Think about Kansas State, too. They don't give up. I mean, you know, the leads are not safe with them. Well, Dane Altman was coach of the year last year in the Big A Conference, and it was because his club played hard from the opening gun to the final gun. Who is it this year, Norm? Norm I would say Norm Stewart without a doubt. So. Yeah. He may be national coach yep. of the year. Carlson trying to beat Ski Jones to the spot and does. Jones whistled for the foul. That's a frustrating day for Ski Jones. He did not get a shot off in the first 10 minutes. You see him covering defense. There, uh, Carlson gets the advantage and Jones bumps him. 16 fouls on Kansas State already. And Carlson, another inbounds play for Iowa State. You know they're tough, Iowa State, on out-of-bounds plays when Eddie Sutton goes and plays zone when Iowa State takes it out-of-bounds because he's about as man-for-man man as you can get. Wide open three from the corner, and Belvis Nolan hits it. His first bucket of the game, and we're back to a 10-point contest. Cats coming up with, looks like, zone this time. Wide open for a three, Holloway, no. Tipped around, and Davis got a hold of it and a foul. 
I think it's on Hoiberg. If it is, it's his first. Even though Holloway didn't hit that shot, that's something he has to do. He has to look for shots and make him play honest out there in the outside. Don't we'll forget, later in the game, we choose the DuPont concert off the bench player. 16 and a half to go in this one and a 10 point Iowa State lead. Cats come there with Damon Davis, uh, bring up the ball against Mikalik. Size, good move, take the pressure off of Bean. And blocking foul on Carlson. Carlson whistled for the foul. He now has four fouls, Carlson. Just a little late get, getting there. The right idea. Third team foul. Carlson's going to have to come out with those four fouls. And Hamilton will take his spot. And Carlson, man, oh man, enough, not enough good things can be said about the role he has played since Lauren Meyer went out. We have all those funny teams at the Big 8 Conference, and I'll tell you this right now, he's on my all-surprise oh, team. <laughs> Got to be. Bean walked with it before the shot. And Bean says, I'm having a tough enough year, man. I'm not shooting very well. I get one in, you call me for a walk. <laughs> Isn't that the way it's gone for Altman, though, and the Wildcats? Did a swish and it's falling off. What do you look for in the zone now against the zone for Iowa State? Move the ball quick, overload. There goes Hoiberg on the overload. And if not, you drive, you hit that shot, or drive it into the gaps and then pitch out to the wings for the open shot. There's another $75 for the carrying program for children. Jones for three. That's well off. He knew it, too. He raced in for the rebound after he missed. Off again. A trio of Cyclones after it, and Fred comes down with it. You know, Dave, what happens to you sometimes, a kid like Ski Jones didn't have a shot for 10 minutes. You get impatient, and now when you see the ball, you're in such a hurry to get a shot off that you lose your rhythm, and I think that's exactly what's happened to him in this ball game. Just shooting things a little quicker than normal. Man-to-man -man now again for the Wildcats. Slapped away from Mikuli. Two. That's a two for Bean. Well, we said Bean's been shooting it better here the last four or five ball games. Seems it looks like they're in the matchup for now they are in the zone. Iowa State backing it out Holloway and now Does he always seem to end up in the right place with that ball? <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Amazing. Hoiberg, he's made both of our all Big 8 squads. And that's not because we do the Cyclone games. No. That's he's earned it. Because he's <laughs> earned it. He is in the top 10 yeah. in seven different statistical categories in the Big 8 conference. The only way that I could see how... You never know what other people are going to do that he could slip out of there if somebody just looks at team records, record, yeah. team records. Well, you look at his numbers, and he may be player of the year just based on his numbers yeah. alone. 48-35, Iowa State with 14 and a half to go. It's a round world. Showing Kansas State coming alive offensively here in the second half, but they've only made a one-point difference on the scoreboard. It's got to be disappointing. You shoot 70% and only pick up one point. It's a 14-point halftime lead. It's a 13-point lead now for the Cyclones. Picked out. They'll reset the shot clock to 35. After a year now with the 35-second shot clock, what influence do you think it's had on the game? I don't think it's had as much as uh, as I thought. I think the ball normally was shot earlier. I think there's a little bit more sometimes pressure put on people, soft pressure, take up time off the clock. But uh, we've seen we've seen I guess more force shots going up to beat the clock th than ever before. I'd say that. Nice give. All the way coming out of there with it. There's a scramble going on, and here comes Hoiberg again. To Mikuli, no basket before the shot, and that's a foul on Anthony Bean, and now Bean, count him, he's got four.
Let's watch this right now. Hayes comes there. Mikulik, Beams standing right there. They call him for the block. Here's good body control and keeping control of the basketball. By Holloway, here's the all the way down. Look at the same play from the start. And there's Beams sliding in. Going into the one and one is made by Mikulik. He'll get the bonus. Now, Bean now out. This is going to make the comeback even more difficult for the Wildcats. Right now, trailing by 14, 15 if Mikalik makes this. Altman cannot afford to keep Bean on his bench very long. Got some points for you, Lowe. Ohio State can shoot those free throws well. Number one in the league. Just lacking a little bit on last year's pace. 75.6 last year was a record at 75.9. They could still surpass that. I know you were uh, home ill last Saturday watching our break-com broadcast of the uh, Iowa State-Oklahoma State game, and both Mikalik and Hoiberg passed your scoring totals in that contest. Uh, yeah. Did that make you feel sicker? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> at my age, I'm lucky to be anywhere. <laughs> No end with no time on the shot clock, forced to put it up. There's one of those shots I'm talking about with the clock. The crowd is back into it again here at Hilton. And it isn't because the game is close right now. <laughs> they just want to see some action. Lead 17 now for the Cyclones. Yeah, and the seven starts that he had, he averaged 13 points. And he's starting to relax a little bit. You can tell that on his outside shot. Good entry pass. Good luck. Look at Fred stay in control. Oh, man, that would have been a big wow. Good wow. Miles Gavin. Yeah, they have the numbers. Nolan for three. Knocked out of bounds that will stay with Kansas State. And right now, Mikalik and Hoiberg leading the charge for the Cyclones, leading by 17. You mentioned earlier Daryl Cunningham. Daryl Cunningham doesn't have a lot of talent. He's got a lot of guts. He plays hard. He jumps well, and he just does not quit. He's an overachiever. <laughs> yep. He's, if there was an all-overachiever team, he'd be on it. Before the shot, Mikalik reaching in. Our producer today, Bob Helmers, who makes up all, all surprise, all newcomer, all transfer, all freshman, all, all defense, all bench. <laughs> what have an all Helmers team? Huh? Like the all Madden you know, team? We could have an all announced team. We could make that. There's only four of us out there. Yeah, well, we could make it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, a team I can make. Nolan. Strong on the three. Boy, the shooting woes continue for the Wildcats. Tough for them to come back the way they shoot. Hayes, there's Mikulik. He's another guy that seems to hang around on a lot of those catch wheels. And he didn't catch it up there above the rim. He catches it coming down, sticks it back in. 19 point lead. So after the Wildcats pulled it within 10, the Cyclones, a wake up call, and they're up by a bunch now. Good play by Hamilton. Pace of the game picking up a little bit here. Ski Jones steps in the passing lane. Jones pulls up, gets his own rebound. Boy, Jones, what a tough day at the office for Ski. And Jones whistle for the foul. And they have a little insult. Jones with just four points today. Hesitates once, twice. Now you see he takes it up quick because he knows he's got Hamilton there. Comes down and you see the wraparound. And you see Eddie Hightower come right in. He thinks there might be trouble, but he's selling the, the call right there. Says Steve Jones. Hamilton is the man that was fouled. And Hamilton will go to the line. And you sit. One of two from the line in the first half. No, both of them. Both of them. Okay, now he's two or three. <laughs> to Iowa State. Man, oh man. Wildcats who have lost two in danger of losing their third straight. And the Cyclones are hot. 54-35.
Trivia question from earlier in the broadcast. How many times ISU has appeared in the NCAA tournament? Well, a total of eight. And a lot of those have come with Johnny Orr as the head coach, all but two. Earl beats him with the ball, has had some outstanding ball games as of late, has not seen many minutes in this ball game. Budweiser Quickstead showing the Cyclones out rebounding the Wildcats. That's a turnaround from Manhattan. I think it was 42 to 28. Oh, what a move by Hayes. He's got a dozen. This is the other thing he gives the Cyclones. He gives somebody, uh, gives them a player that has the ability to take the ball to the basket. Cunningham hit. It's going to be on Hamilton. You know, I think in that situation, you've got to be aware of the team you're playing against and the type of shooters are. Hamilton's got to stay away. Make Cunningham go up and shoot the ball in. He's coming to bring it back, going to his left there, and, uh, and then shooting with the left hand. He's not a good free throw shooter. Nine double doubles, though, this year for Cunningham. Maybe. He had 21 rebounds in the game this year. 21. I was going to say, maybe you, maybe you even out by fouling him rather than make it, shoot it in. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Jones going back to the bench. Boy, he's such a tough day, Ski Jones. I think it's Jones still with four points. But yeah, I don't think he scored the second half. Now he has one field goal today for Ski Jones. 20-point lead for Iowa State. Cats come with a trap, open on the backside. Hamilton so wide open, he tries to go too quick and loses the handle. Or they executed that just the way you'd want it. The trap into the middle, down to the, the baseline, and it's wide open. Good hands by Hayes. He's an athlete. There he is. one of the better passers for a big guy I've ever seen. He really is, has good vision. And he can anticipate where people are going to be on that pass. In other words, he can throw it to a spot. He's out running Gavin to Mikuli. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, that was an easy shot. Good pass, and he kind of catches it. I think kind of surprised by the quickness of it, and then just soft touches it up and in. Man, easy pickings for the clones now. Where the looks like the Cyclones are on their way to their second Big 8 win at Hilton this year. And the earlier one was a blowout against Colorado. This one right now turning into a blowout, 60-36. In between those, a tough, hard, close spot battle. Yeah, very close. So last Saturday against Oklahoma State, the overtime with Missouri. When Kansas tough. Yeah. Gavin got it for three. And Gavin hits a three from the corner. Doesn't shoot a lot of them, but one of their better three-point shooters. He's right up there with uh, Ski Jones, percentage-wise. Doesn't shoot nearly as many. Offensive charge on J.C. Holloway. Third foul on J.C. Look at Holloway, one of the few times you see him going all the way to the basket, gets in here, now the defense comes and slides on him. He has no place to go and picked up the offensive foul. Now Holloway, you got to figure this is a big game for him. Kansas yeah. State, the team that he grew up wanting to play for, going to all their camps and everything. They didn't offer him a scholarship, so you got to figure this is a big game for him. And it's being televised uh, by their Hoiberg Kansas State Hoiberg network Hoiberg back home, too. Yeah, Hoiberg only two second-half points. The Cyclones haven't needed his production. Checking out the big hand for Derek Hayes. And a strong candidate for our Off the Bench Award winner. Hayes leaves with a dozen. Lucas throwing that one to no one in particular. Uh, Dave, I'm going to see 
Mark Carlson is an academic all big A player. He's got four fouls. I'm going to see if he's smart enough to keep himself in. This is his, he's a senior. <laughs> hey, you don't want to foul out of your senior game. Good chance to get a shot up go, 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 this ball game. Come on, come on, grab it. There's Rip getting with the ball and then hit on the arm. That foul's going to be on Lucas, his second. Kansas State, by the way, over the big limit. They have more than 10 team fouls this half. Iowa State has seven. Did we talk about a day we should remind uh, viewers this game, even though the teams will end up tied in the conference if Iowa State holds on, which looks like they should, and win this ball game, has no bearing on the standings, even though the teams end up tied. Big eight uh, tournament pairings are already set. Owen Meyer in uniform, but not expected to play. Johnny Orr's already been quoted as saying he will not play in the big eight tournament coming up. No reason to really take a chance there. You no. break that bone again, and you're looking at long rehab. Anthony Bean penetrates for two more of his 10. 21 point Cyclone lead. Iowa State has led pretty much throughout. In fact, never have trailed in this game. Kimbrough went through there, wide open, uh, looking for the pass. Hamilton didn't see him. There's that where you were talking about where Fred brought that ball down. Remember you were saying before about Larry Brown would coach him that way? Oh, he won that ball low, and then he was fouled on the play by Gavin. Because the defensive man, he's out there with his hands waist high. He's reaching like this and trying to, to tip it out or strip it out of your hands. And here comes Ski Jones again. Checking out. Devon Davis. Oh, Hoiberg, eight for eight from the line. Nine for nine. Fred Hoiberg, the kind of guy that makes you look like a good coach. Yeah. <laughs> 25 for Freddie. You want to say, well, I got him off to the side, and the freshman taught him how to shoot those free throws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Cunningham. Or a block. Now what? That might be Carlson. Maybe he wasn't smart enough to keep himself in the game. And it is on Mark. Well, Mark, you had a great senior year, young man. See, the only, one thing about him, he only knows one thing, and that's to play hard and play all out 100%. And this is nice. Iowa State fans are recognizing him for the job that he's done. Looks a little like Clark Kent, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he's been Superman this year for the Cyclones. He's played a lot of big ball games. I remember down at Oklahoma. Big ball game, offensive rebounds. Lane violation on Mikali. He'll do it again. And Carlson, very emotional. Coming into this game, and they introduced him as a senior Carlson, a tear in his eye. A tear in Johnny's eye, too, as he came out today. The lane violation will give Belvis Nolan. Belvis would be on our all name team, too, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. There's another one for you, Bob Helmers, the all name team. If Askia had a better last name, yeah. <laughs> he'd be on it. Hayakowski would be on that team. I think of some others. Pearl Beecham would be on that team. Julius Mikali could be on that one. guy just as an athlete physically quickness and so forth but he knows how to use what he has use his tools well three point attempt no look at the rebound by Hamilton but coming down he walked with it Johnny wanted a foul call when Hamilton went down John wearing a little 
shoe leather out there again. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes he go through in a year? Well, we've got immediate timeout. 7.34 to go. They're booing. Should be cheering, because it's a big lead for the Cyclones. Classic television. Okay. Now, with Sage Gene Smith's done a really nice job. Is he wearing a Danny Knee tie? I don't know. It's a good looking one. Oh, it is. He's writing a check out for something. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe he's visiting that uh, store. Where is it? In Hastings that they sell those knee ties? Jones somehow got it back and still oh, can't make that down. Hey, he can't buy one today. We'll stay with Kansas State. Man, oh man. You ever have a day like Jones is having? Yes. <laughs> I think every player has one of those sometime or other. If you play long enough, you're going to have a day. Even Jack Nichols, I saw where he shot an 80 the other day. <laughs> you want to shoot those at home, <laughs> Anthony? Oh boy. Yeah. That was well short. 66-43. There is one more regular season game in the Big Eight. They're just about ready to get going. Kansas and Oklahoma today. Foul before the shot. I think Meeklake will go to the line. Hamilton, a good job there when the ball went inside. They doubled up him. He cut right to the basket, freed himself up. Noland has four now. now Kansas State, uh, their thoughts were about NCAA. I think now they, they too are in that position, the Wildcats, where they'd have to win the Big A tournament. They are a strong candidate for an NIT bid. Probably a lot for an NIT if they don't win the Big A. Kansas State also a team that draws well at home. Mikuli, six of five of six. Got a little ahead of myself there. Five of six for Mikuli to the line. 67 43, Iowa State. In a row. Seniors are going to go out on a winning note for the Cyclones. You know, that's something special. You always like in your last home game is to go out a winner. Nolan for three. Beecham has the long rebound. You know, I don't think Hurl Beecham's put up a shot yet today. No, he hasn't. Well, he's not playing Oklahoma. <laughs> Beecham's had his two best days against the Sooners. Oh, Look, nice at that. Look at that. What a pass. You talk about Britton and the needle. Hamilton's turned into an assist man in this ball game. You know what? Nikolik's making a bid for our player yeah. of the game now. They were about ready to give it to Fred, and now Mikalik has snuck in there. Well, I'll tell you, there's only one difference to me when you look at that and compare uh, halves is that uh, Fred's was, was done when it was game time. This is kind of just play out the string right now. He got the points when it was a tough time. There's another one. Oh, wow! Good hand. You've got foot-long fingers, you can do that. <laughs> He's got a hand <laughs> like two of mine. I mean, to catch it is one thing, but then to turn around and make that shot. And it's coming down to showtime, isn't it? What a, we can rename showtime wild time. Five and a half to go. Nice pass. And a foul. Well, Hoiberg, we've talked about him all year. The tremendous ability, but watch this. We talked about there's things you don't teach players. Watch here. He catches it. One end brings it back and turns and looks. Look at his concentration back to the basket as well. Just to know where you're at, the court sense. Court presence. As you know where exactly you are on that court. If only he knew where he was in a swimming pool. <laughs> I'm going to tell him, don't trail somebody that's ahead of you with a kickboard. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you Walk be the leader. The kickboards. <laughs> I understand the kickboard came from Moderman, I think. <laughs> oh, my. Stay out of the pool, Fred. <laughs> well, he shouldn't have much longer. He has 523 to play, 7246. Uh, John will probably be unloading that bench here in a minute. Fred, 
Pittsburgh is not letting up defensively on Ski Jones either. He's nope. staying right with him. Ski's probably said, hey, man, he said, you got the game one. He said, cut me some slack. I want to get my average up. Well, Fred and uh, Ski are both a couple of the leading scorers in the big game. Hoiberg averaging 20.4, Ski 21.9. I think if those two guys were on the bubble as far as the Big 8, all Big 8 team, Hoiberg uh, with his performance here today would win that battle. Shot up and in by Belvis Nolan. Back cut. Beach thought about jamming and he got a little misstep there. He almost lost it. That ball hit the front of the rim and just kind of crept over at the top. Game has long since been decided. Block for the foul. And Cunningham will go back to the line. Let's check on the three-point shooting for the Cyclones. All right now, three for six, so $225 for the caring program for children. <laughs> got to try to regroup these cats somehow before Friday their meeting will be against the Kansas Jayhawks the last game of that first day in the Big A tournament well, that I can't wait for that tournament I love it. <laughs> it is a great tournament I was gonna say it won't be too hard to regroup when you're going against Kansas for these Wildcats that's a that's the plus of coming off of this game Roy Williams probably thinking you know, he wished the, the Wildcats would have waited a day to have this kind of an afternoon. Beecham, well, he's only thrown up two. He's made them both. He just snatched that right out of midair. Came down and put it right back in. Steal. Take it yourself, Kimbrough. for Jones, all in the first half. another rebound. It's interesting to me, they really have not run a lot of picks for him today. He started out early, Iowa State switched on it, and they kind of come off of that, and he's just had to get it on his own. He hasn't been able to get anything. Losing out of bounds, Hurl Beecham, who hurled himself out of bounds. I'm like you, Dave. Well, I'm, I look forward to that big eight tournament. Uh, can't wait. That's the best. To me, it's the best event of the year. And I do a lot of different sporting events, but the big eight tournament, to me, is the best. It's a clean slate for everybody. That's one thing about it. You start anew and uh, play for that championship. Skeet Jones finally gets on the board in the second half. For three. Get up, get up, get up. Hamilton doing a good job rebounding. Here comes Might Kimbrough. Might him open. Yep. Well, but look, look from this angle, like he was going to get it. Right? Yeah. Let's uh, check our DuPont concert off the bench player, Derek Hayes. Man, he had a great afternoon here. A dozen points for Derek Hayes, the freshman. Our DuPont concert off the bench award winner. 
Dave, he stayed with this trend uh, of scoring more points in the second half. He had seven of his 12 coming in the second half. And he outscored the entire Wildcat bench 12 to 5. He alone. Five bench points for the Wildcats. Harold Beecham picking up some late points here. Beecham's come on strong. He's really, yeah, really tough from three point range lately. Hitting 64% in his last several games. I was just going to say, one of the oddities of this game, he has not attempted a three point shot. And that's normally all he shoots. Well, here comes Fred Brown, the other senior on this club. He'll come in along with Joe Moderman. No Fred Brown. Unless the well, Cyclones go to the NIT playing his last home game. 30 point lead. Gavin will take the three and hit it. Brian Gavin giving the Wildcats a spark. Won't matter in this game, but certainly Kansas State looking to the future with Gavin. Moderman for three. Just off the bench. Well, it's cold and. There, Fred Brown will get on the staff page with a rebound, and he'll go to the line. So the Cyclones, they're meeting with Oklahoma State. It will start at 6-10 Friday night. Kansas State meeting Kansas following that Iowa State-Oklahoma State game. The other matchups feature Missouri taking on Colorado in the first game of the tournament at noon on Friday. And it's just like this. And uh, the second game will feature Oklahoma, Nebraska. Oklahoma could still finish as the fourth seed, but they would still play Nebraska. And Brown hits the free throw. Bean going for three. Well, after that air ball, he's, he's on fire. 16 points for Anthony Bean. One of the problems for the Wildcats, though, is usually when Bean has a good day, Jones does not, and vice versa. Good penetration there, just not able to convert the, the layup. Three-pointer, no. Davis has it, and he gets it off to Nolan. Nearing the one-minute mark. Bean going for another three. 34 on his back, Trevor! And a foul, that's going to be on Kevin Lewis, who picks up his fourth. Well, our pioneer Seacorn Cyclone player of the game, and as you mentioned it, he did the damage when it counted the most. Fred Hoiberg finishes too shy of his career high, 27, including a perfect day at the line. And now he leaves. This crowd here cheering for Fred and cheering, too, that he's not a senior. He'll be back another year. Well, he upped his free throw for a nice smile out of Fred. 88.8% uh, which leads the conference. He's now got a string, Dave, of 20 in a row. 20 straight free throws. He holds the Iowa State record of 34 straight. And Saul Harris checking in. There's Saul Harris getting a little PT here. His dad, an outstanding football player here at Iowa State, back in the 70s, great professional player. New Orleans and the Cardinals. Another three, three from Gavin. Gavin. Gavin with nine points, all from three-point land. You said that might get him some additional playing time in the Big Eight tournament. Mm -hmm. He needs some help off that bench. And a foul on Belvis Nolan. That's going to be his fifth. Nolan will foul out of this one. And Todd Schmidt, a freshman out of Norfolk, Nebraska, walk-on, will check in in his play. Are you going to sing, Gary? <laughs> Happy trails. I think I'll just listen to the music. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Belvis Nolan exits. Fred Brown going to the line. Hit one of two his last time. And Donnell Bivens 
the senior checking out, taking his spot, Hakeem Abdel Khalid. Abdel Khalid got to play against Kansas the other day. Said it was a big thrill for him. It was always a dream of his to play at Allen Fieldhouse. Khalid, an excellent student. Fred Brown for three. Oh boy, I wanted the senior to get it. Schmidt from the corner. Brown, the long rebound. Here he comes. Two on one. No pass. <laughs> And a foul on Brown. It's 22 seconds to go in this one. So Iowa State and Kansas State, along with the other six members of the Big Eight, heading to the Big Eight tournament. Pretty soon it'll be the Big 12. Yeah. Welcome the four members. Bob Helmers keeps wanting to call it the big one, too. He's getting no support for that idea. But yeah, you look, keep throwing it out there, Bob. I look at the Iowa State bench. As you look at Coach Dane Altman, uh, everybody's played. Of course, Lauren Meyer, except Sean Jackson. Huh? Sean Jackson. Get him, get him, get him. You're right. And the state will keep control of the ball. It's nice to have a, a relaxing type game once in a while where you don't have to sweat it down to the wire. I'm sure Johnny Orr and his staff appreciative of this one went pretty easy. Freddie Brown with a block. Freddie saying, get that downtown. Long <laughs> <laughs> three. Bean does not get it. Downs Moderman. Oh, a, been a big three there for... Saul Harris. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get an act. <laughs> a lot of smiles on the bench by the players sitting over there to watch these guys putting them up. And a foul. Anthony Bean will go to the line. Asked Bean before the game, you ready for the Big A tournament? So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, uh, Kansas State surprising last year in that Big A tournament, getting to that championship game against Missouri. Well, Bean, as you look at the little guy right there, had a tremendous year last year. Kansas State had 11 games and went down the last minute, and he made key plays in eight of those games, either winning shots or the key assist. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing year for him. It's been a struggling year this year, though. His first free throw attempt of the day. Shy of the mark. Just five seconds to go. Games of State's going to drop to four and ten. Iowa State will match that at four and ten in the big eight. They will tie for sixth place, but Kansas State gets the sixth seed. And the horn goes off, and that will do it. Iowa State on strong performances from Foyberg and Mikulik dominate the Wildcats today. For Johnny Orr, 218 career wins in Iowa State. 466 overall in his illustrious career. So Johnny Orr wins at Hilton, the final 85 to 60. We'll be back in a moment.